First of all, I would like to thank you for always supporting my first episode of Code with Elias in Instagram. Many of you know me as a Shopify partner developer. So in the second episode, I will be talking about what you should learn as a Shopify developer. So in this video, I will be talking about Shopify team development, Shopify app development, and Shopify headless development. And stay until the end for a bonus section. So let's get started. <music> As a Shopify team developer, you will be responsible for creating a Shopify team from scratch or customizing next one using code. First of all, so what is a Shopify team? A Shopify team is just a template that uses HTML, CSS, JavaScript code, plus Shopify templating language, which is liquid to be able to render a Shopify. A Shopify team has a specific structure that you need to follow to be able to render a Shopify server. One of these required folder are the Shopify config folder. This folder has all the Shopify global settings that the Shopify store owner can use to customize the overall look of their Shopify store from the Shopify team editor. One of these settings can be the brand color, the font family, and many more. Another required folder is the Shopify section folder. This folder will have all your Shopify section or component that can be used by the Shopify store owner create or customize Shopify and there is many more required folder I will leave you this link where you will have all the Shopify required file and folder and the Shopify team architecture as a Shopify team developer there is many developer tools that you can use to help you with your developer experience one of these tools is the Shopify liquid cheat sheet that I will leave you in the description of this video that will help you with learn more about Shopify templating language liquid Second tool that will help you as a Shopify team developer is the Shopify team CLI. This CLI will help you with syncing your local code changes to your Shopify remote store because Shopify is cloud based. So you can't run Shopify locally, but you will run your Shopify team locally that is linked to a remote Shopify dev store that have your Shopify local team. So every time you make changes in your local machine, in your for example, in your code editor, your change will be pushed to your Shopify remote team code that is on a Shopify dev store to be able to see it in your local machine. And also this CLI will help you validate and let your local changes using Shopify team check. Tool tool that I will mention in this video for Shopify team developer is the Shopify down team. It's a, the official Shopify team that will help you with getting started with Shopify team development. It has all the things out of the box for example the shopify team cli installed the shopify team check and many more the fourth tool that i will mention in this video is the shopify section rendering api it's an api endpoint that will help you re-render a shopify section by providing their name or their id and it will give you the new html content for this section and it will help you creating a similar experience to a single page application in a shopify team the fifth and the last tool that I will mention for Shopify team development is the Shopify Liquid VS Code extension. It's a VS Code extension that will help you with syntax highlighting, lint and validate your Shopify Liquid code using the Shopify team track and many more. So that's it for the Shopify team development and let's move on to the Shopify app developer. As a Shopify app developer, you will be responsible for creating Shopify app or add-on to be able to extend the functionality of a Shopify or multiple Shopify store. First of all, what is a Shopify app? A Shopify app is just a normal application that uses Shopify APIs. As I mentioned that a Shopify app is just a normal web application. So we need to be a full stack developer to be able to create and build a Shopify. App. Also, I mentioned that a Shopify app to be able to operate need a Shopify API. And this API is the Shopify admin API. We have REST and GraphQL API for this admin API that you can use for most of the admin stuff for our Shopify store. For example, creating a new order, marking order as paid, creating new customer, creating new page, and many more. And also we have webhook that we can listen to for many of the Shopify store events. For example, order paid, order update, customer create, and many more. And there is a list that I will 
leave in the description below for all the events that you can listen to using the Shopify webhook API. So currently we know what is a Shopify app and what's a Shopify admin API. Let's talk about some developer tools that can help us with creating and developing a Shopify app. One of these tools is the Shopify app CLI. It will help you with creating a Shopify app from a template. It's currently supporting Ruby on Rails and Node.js. Also one of the things that the CLI will help you with is creating a tunnel to your Shopify local server because the Shopify app need to be publicly available to be able to be installed and operate in a Shopify store. And the Shopify CLI will give you a unique free tunnel to be able to forward to your local host to be able to make your Shopify local server publicly available. Second tool that will help you as a Shopify app developer is the SDK. So currently we have three official SDK, the Shopify Node.js SDK, Ruby on Rails, the PHP SDK. There is other community SDK for Shopify app development that you can find out in GitHub. Also, there's a tool that can help you with playing around with the Shopify admin GraphQL API. It's the Shopify GraphQL API Explorer. It's a Shopify app that can be installed in a Shopify store to be able to have access to the Shopify data in your Shopify store. And you can play around with it and make requests without using any external tool. In the Shopify app development, we have another layer that we can use for our Shopify app, which is the Shopify app extension. It's like a, an add-on to your Shopify app that extends the functionality of your app and the Shopify store. For example, we have Shopify admin link, which is a Shopify app extension that allows you to create a short link in any Shopify page to be able to redirect to your page. For example, we can add a custom link in your Shopify order page to the order page and in your more, more action section, you can click on it and you can see your custom Shopify app link. For example, edit this order using Elias Shopify app. And when you click on it, it will redirect to your Shopify page with the selected order in, in the URL parameter. And you can use it to improve the experience of your Shopify client. Another extension that we can use is the Shopify post purchase extension. It's still in beta, but you can use it for dev store and you can request access for live store. This extension will allow you to be able to create a page between the Shopify thank you page and the Shopify payment page. First of all, let's discuss the Shopify process. So we have the first page is the customer page where the customer will fill their personal information. The second one is the shipping page. The third one is the Shopify payment page. And the last one and the fourth one is the Shopify thank you page. This Shopify post purchase extension will allow you to create a page between the Shopify payments page and the Shopify thank you page. This page you can use it for upsell, maybe another validation for your Shopify order, and it will redirect after that to the Shopify thank you page. So you can read more about this extension in a link in the description of this video. Another Shopify app extension that I will be talking about is the Shopify checkout UI extension. At time of recording this video, it's currently available for only Shopify Plus version. This Shopify checkout UI extension will allow you to add custom banner, custom field to your Shopify checkout page, add some pre-purchase offer to your Shopify process. This offer will be displayed in the first Shopify checkout page, which is the customer page where we have the order information and the customer detail. So you can add some pre-purchase offer there. Last point that I will be talking about in the Shopify app development section is the Shopify function. It's allowed developers to be able to extend the functionality of the Shopify. For example, you can use the Shopify payment customization function API, which allow you to be able to rename, delete, and reorder a Shopify payment based on some logic that you can set using JavaScript code. For example, you have a Shopify payment, let's say cash on delivery, you can set it to only the customer that has less than $20 in their card to be able to use it. You can write this logic in JavaScript and get the data using a GraphQL API. And there is multiple examples that you can use that I will leave you in a link of the description of this video. So that's it for Shopify app development and let's go to the Shopify headless development. 
As a Shopify headless developer, you will be responsible for creating a Shopify custom front end using the technology of your own, for example, Next.js or Gatsby.js. And you will be only using Shopify as a headless CMS, so you will be only using the Shopify back office without the need of the Shopify storefront. And you can use that through the Shopify storefront API. It's a public API and the read only API. Also, you can use Shopify hydrogen framework which is rebuilt using Remix, which Shopify acquired on October 2022 to help you with creating a storefront with some predefined hooks, component, and utility function for Shopify storefront use case. And also it does have some out-of-the-box feature like TypeScript support and Tailwind CSS support. Second thing that I will be talking about in the Shopify headless part is Exogen. Exogen is the Shopify hosting framework for Shopify hydrogen products that you can use to be able to deploy your hydrogen products. You can just like uh, connect it to a GitHub repo and you can get different features, for example, a different environment, for example, development, staging and production. Also, you can get a preview deployment for each commit that you push to your remote GitHub repo. So that's it for the Shopify headless part and let's go to the bonus action. So thank you so much for being with me until the end of this video for this bonus section. So in this bonus section, I will be talking about Shopify Marketplace development. So the Shopify Marketplace API is a solution that will help you with creating a custom marketplace and you can link it to different Shopify store. For example, a Shopify store owner can install your marketplace app in their Shopify store and inject some products to be synced with your marketplace and in your marketplace you will display all the products from different store and the marketplace owner can charge a commission based on each sales that made through their marketplace for the Shopify store owner. So that's it for this video. I hope you find it useful and I hope you get an idea of different type of Shopify development. If you have any question or any comment or any suggestion for this story or about this video, just leave it in the comment section. I will be more than happy to reply to your comment as soon as possible and implement it in the next video. So thank you so much.